Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Oso, and welcome back to another video where today I have the window open. But that's not the only new thing that's going on in this video, or the new thing that's happening in this video. Another new thing that's happening in this video is something new that I got. So, a little while back, I got this, which was probably one of my most favorite lotion aftershaves that I've ever tried. And it was pretty good. It was a sensitive cooling aftershave balm by Nivea Met. And I ran out of it. So, my mom was at the store yesterday and she was like, because I asked her to get some, and she sent me a picture of both the cooling and the soothing. She asked me which one I wanted, so I picked the soothing. I've never used it. Um, today's going to be the first time ever using it. It's a little bit different of a, like a bottle. They're both glass, so don't break them. But this one's like clear, and this one's no. The scents are different. This this scent, it's got a very nice clean scent. This one, I don't think I like as much, but I love it as well. But I don't think I like it as much as the cooling man. And I've heard some other people that agree with me that say the same thing, and they're like, "Well, I don't, I don't mind the sensitive or the the whatever you call it, the soothing one, but I like the cooling one a lot more. I like the scent of it a lot more. So yeah, I see why. It's got they both have similar scents, but neither of them are the same. Okay, what am I gonna show you with today? I don't actually know. Um, I have my Parasso sitting on the counter right here, but I just used it. And I don't want to use it again. I just hope I haven't used it in a while. Hmm. I need to organize my drawers because I have no idea where anything I have is. Use my derby. Chemical corn tortilla smell. I got my lime caramel conks. So that's crystallizing in its little container. Okay. I think I accidentally ruined that soap, but you know what? Let's use bay rum kernel conks because it is a good smell. That's my shower too. I always forget that. Because it's like a background. Our whole houses are our whole houses. All our houses that we pretty much lived in is, have always had a similar um, curtain to that. We've gotten a new curtain in every house we bought. And they're all with like the bear, the deers, and the mooses, and the, something that you'd think you would find in Canada. But no. That's how you can tell that we live in Colorado. Now, the lighting's really weird. Like, everything's like very orange, and I don't know what's going on there. So. Let me know if it annoys you guys. And it did snow, so that's good. So that was snow from the last snow storm that we had a couple months ago. Some of the ice from that snowstorm has still not been melted yet. And it's supposed to get more snow either tonight or tomorrow sometime in that time frame. Alrighty. Lather up. My dad seems to really like the uh, the almond kernel conch soap that I gave him. I sure, I sure don't. I, I mean, it lathered beautifully. It was an amazing shaving soap. I just couldn't stand the smell. It just was not my thing. I, I did not like it at all. Oh man, this is lathering up a crazy amount. It's getting all over my hands. Ah! Well, that just happened. Here's my towel. Dropping soap containers. And I wonder if one of my scissors. There we go. Sorry. The last time I shaved. It was on Friday, so 
I have a little bit of growth. About three or four days of growth around that. I do have a few spots to look out for. I think so. That. Mainly just my whole chin area. too much because this, even though it's a really thick lather, it's kind of, I don't know, like setsy, really, it, it feels like it, like this lather might break down, I think I lather too much, I don't know, I'm still new to this, semi new to it, so I'm not like day one. I ain't picked out a razor yet. Let's go for a good old close shave and use my 1930s Gillette Depression Era razor. Fix my hair because it's apparently doing that now. It's cool. Yeah, sure, hair, you can do that. Okay, I think we're good. Alrighty, let's be good. So, yeah, I've never tried this. I have to shave it out before. Sad that it's not going to be all cooling like the other one was. Cold razor. So I need to hold. Now, this is a pretty decently aggressive razor, I'm not going to lie. with my nose. Yes, I English very well. Okay. So how have you all been lately? Hopefully staying safe. As always, always hopefully, always hoping you guys are all staying safe. Hoping all is well. I wouldn't want my viewers to be having a bad day and me not know. <sighs> we got... Okay, now, yesterday... Well, I should probably start from the beginning of the whole story. So our house has very bad heating. Um, we're constantly getting like air in our like heating lines because we have like those old like ground heaters that are from like the house was built in like the 50s and 60s. We don't have like the floor, like the ones that are built into a floor, like a mobile home, like a mobile home, like a trailer home. Um, but they're constantly getting air in the lines and we don't know how they're getting air in the lines. And sometimes that's preventing our heaters from working at all. But when we, we figured out a way to get the air out of the lines temporarily, temporarily, if we don't know how to do it permanently. But still, my room and my little brother's room, the heaters don't work. So, yesterday, my mom was at the store. She got a decent heater for our living room. Because even though the heater works in there, we still like to get quicker heat. Sometimes. And it's just a neat little thing to have handy. Then we got a little mini one for my room. And at Around 10 o'clock at night is when I turned it on, because that's when I was going to bed. And 
my room was, excuse me, my room was 61 degrees. And in about an hour and a half, okay, I could not fall asleep. I don't know why I could fall asleep last night, but I was just having issues falling asleep last night. I don't know why. But in about an hour and a half, my room got up to 85 degrees. My room has never been that hot since the summer. So that was crazy. So I woke up in the middle of the night to my room being almost 90 degrees. And that just popped up. But it was really hot, so I had to turn the heater off and turn on my fan. And my room got down to about 70, and it stayed like that ever since. Also, if you do hear weird popping noises like that, our house pops a lot. Especially at night when like it gets colder and hot and all that, our house will just pop. Specifically our floors. There goes my dogs barking. Our beautiful dogs barking for whatever reason. It's probably our mailman or UPS here. They're trying to get their part in on the video. Yep. It is probably UPS. Alrighty, which way? I'm trying to remember which way I shaved the first pass. Our dogs are pretty annoying sometimes, but they're sweet and they're nice. They're not aggressive at all. They just like to bark at things that they don't know what it is. I'm getting a lot more here. I think I did get a little tiny nick. That'll be gone though. Like minutes. Alright, I think I'm just gonna do two passes, because mm -hmm. oh, the towel got stuck on the drawer. Okay. I got that one tiny nick, which I think already stopped. Maybe not exactly yet. Alright, let's use this aftershave. I already took the cap off. Pour a little bit of that. Yeah, the scent is a little different. Yeah. Nice shiny, shiny sheen on my face. Not really. Okay, maybe, maybe. It's soothing. I do feel a little bit of cooling, but that might just be me and my weird brain. But. Ah, I'm dropping things. Alrighty. Our neck stopped. Awesome. See all my spots all over my face. That, I don't know what it is. It's just kind of popped up all of a sudden. Yeah, that's a good aftershave. Like I said, I don't think I like the smell as much as the cooling, but it's still a very nice and pleasant and clean smell.
New Beeman, I recommend. I recommend the other one a little bit more, but they are both amazing. Alright. Well, that's that shape. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, make sure you guys click the like button because it really helps out the channel a lot. Let me move my hair, please. But if you guys want to see more shaving videos, let me know. Oh, that's what my whole video channel, YouTube channel is about. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, share with your friends, just spread the word about my channel. Rinsing out my brush, hold on. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay shaved. See you guys in the next video. That's gonna be my new motto. Bye bye.